guys, it's Efter, and today I'm going to be playing a little game as I try to rotate here, called Rise of Insanity. Now, my voice might sound a little weird because I'm looking off to the right because for some reason, the main menu for this game doesn't like to center properly. Hopefully that's not a sign of things to come, but what this game is, is a spooky game. I like spooky games. And also seeming to be a very unhappy dude over there. Alright, well... I'm sure I'll be unhappy soon too, so you know, swings and roundabouts. It's, uh... This game contains frightening scenes and sudden increases attention. People with a weak heart and epilepsy problems are advised not to play. Authors don't take responsibility. Well, that's good. Keep calm. Relax. Calm down. Calm all your senses. My name is Dr. Stephen Dahl. You are here because your disorders started to get out of control. I'm also sitting backwards on a couch. You ceased to behave normally, and disturbing thoughts took control of you. You will undergo my original therapy. I will well, show I... you the film I created. Okay. And you will tell me what feelings you have while watching it. And if you saw anything worrying. Oh, okay. data. Edward, 41 years old, day September 1st. I know Edward as far back as I remember. He worked as a gardener in our neighborhood. From the preliminary interview, I got to know that he suffers from a dream disorder. He has constant nightmares and can't sleep well, as well as a memory disorder. Sometimes he doesn't remember what happened a couple of days or hours ago. I have some suspicions connected with this case, but it's too early for the detailed diagnosis. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, I do want to be centered here properly, so let's uh, let's get this going. Okay. Cool. Patient Edward, preliminary interview, initial diagnosis, test a new therapy, waiting for results. Okay. No, clo no, close that. I don't want to do paperwork. Okay. Let's see somebody giving me two middle fingers. Hopefully that's what I'm supposed to see. Okay. Okay, buddy. You hide bouncy balls in your closet. That's good. I'm sure that's nothing weird. Oh, books. The Breed in Birds. Taxidermy. Richard Birdman. Ah. All the best on your seventh birthday. 
Happy birthday, Stephen Dad! That's right. I'm Stephen Dad. Well-known birdologist. Yes, I know they like to fly. And I know that they don't do anything spooky. Yes. Stephen Dad. There's all these things. Are we done in here? Can I leave? Mm, the cage that cages us all. Can I just leave this room? Good. The door is kind of... You know, when you're seated and you're walking in a VR game, it makes you feel very tall. It makes you feel very big. Like you're in a dollhouse. This is... Okay. I'm sure that's an important thing. Dr. Dow launched his new experimental treatment method. Okay. Psychologine. Why is there... Okay, back this way. Because I feel... Okay. Why is there... Okay. I don't know why there's crime scene tape up in my laboratory. Hmm. Thought I saw something. Okay. Is this going to be like that one spooky game I played where I was like... A detective in a house, and... You have a lot of... You have a surprising amount of gum. Also, wow, the quality on this picture is actually not bad. Um, hello? Okay. Alright. Okay. Sure is a lot of crime scene tape. Sure hope nothing bad's going to happen to me. family's tragedy. A mother and child were murdered. And the violator was... A carpet. I'm walking on a carpet. Hello. Hello. Uh, that's... That's not the same painting that I see back there. That's uh, pretty spoken. Okay. Right. You are a very spooky painting, not quite that spooky though. That's a little terrifying. Okay. So yeah, um, spooky VR horror game. I do hope you guys can see it very well, because if not, the Madness Symphony. Oh, lovely. I love me a little bit of madness. What's that? Oh, flowers. Stephen Dad, birdologist, does love his flowers. He's not as big a fan of dark pool rooms. I don't know what's at a pool room. There's no pool table. Mm. Mm. No siree. You're not going to spook me. Oh, am I kidding? You're going to spook me in like two seconds. Dear Mrs. Dowell, I would like to remind you that you gave me a free hand in the development of one part of the garden. Therefore, my decision was to mainly plant dahlias. I have accentuated them with clematis flowers. I surrounded everything with white poppies. You will be delighted, Edward. Sure, what are we watching? It's on the boob tube. Nothing. Who even has the song? Who's here? Who's here? You're just gonna leave it on? Waste some electricity? Okay. I don't like being in here. 
Okay. Troy is creepy. Honey, please turn off the TV. It's gonna be stormy. Doing whatever I want, woman. Don't you tell me what to do. Though I do love you. Sweetheart, remember that you are on duty today. Hmm? Toasted pastries. Hmm. Don't like what I'm hearing in there. Anything in the trash? Nope. Ah! Name a student. Theodore Dowell. English B. Mathematics A. Science A. P.E.B. And Ethics A. Signature of parent, Susan Dower. Okay, Susan. Hello. Whoa. Okay. Alright, I'll turn the TV off. Just gotta, you know... Come up here and do it? What? Coming! Coming! Who's calling at this hour? No, this is Steven, Dad. It is nothing certain. Please come to the morgue for identification purposes. Patient Edward 41. Day, September 11th. Patient has told me about his dreams where he tries to murder his wife and child. As far as he said before, he's a bachelor and he hasn't said anything about children. It could be some traumatic memory from his childhood. I have to get to know about it during our next meeting. Okay. It is a harder case than I expected. Some symptoms indicate that the patient can possess a multiple personality. But these are only suspicions. I have to ask my friend, Abraham. Am I Steven or am I Edward? Whatever. Actually, I would kind of like an answer to that question. Whoa. Dear Abraham, I apologize for not having written so long. I was occupied with family and work matters and did not have enough time. I trust you're okay. How is your wife, Berta? I currently have a case of a certain patient, Edward Blank. He is 41 years old. He is reporting problems with sleeping and memory. I noticed he seems to have certain minor tics. There are times when he suddenly and strangely moves the small finger of his left hand. He told me about a nightmare that has been haunting him for some time. It is the only dream he is able to remember. He told me he had attempted to kill his wife and child in that dream. However, he was not able to do it. He constantly wakes up before the very end. It's very strange because Edward is actually a bachelor and does not have any children. What do you think of this? My assumption is these are the beginnings of schizophrenia or multiple personality disorder. However, you are the one who has more experience in psychopathology. Best regards, Stephen Dad. Well, I'm not Steven. Or I am Steven, because this is my office? Yes. Yes, this is my office. I'm Steven Dad. Okay. The alcoholic is a drug addict. When does this take place? I'll have my coat, please. This is a very interesting coat. Okay, into... This. Okay. Where am I? Am I in an asylum? Oh, good. Hey, buddy. Oh. Hello. Okay. Looks up behind me. Oh, good. Yep, yep. All the usual. Can't weigh me. Can't have you all knowing my secrets. To Bardology and... Really dark behind the curtain. Oh, man. Mother and seven-year-old son murdered. Okay. Okay. Get the hell out of there. Mm. No. 
Who stuffed all these chairs in my elevator? Ah, oh, nuisances. Hello. Okay. Getting really not good vibes right now. Hello? There's flies in the air. Someone should really get that dead body. Because I'm leaving. I'm going home. Yep, not my job. Not Steven, Dad. No, sir. That's not the floor I wanted. Right, I have to go to the morgue. What am I, an asshole? The answer is yes. Emphatically yes. Ooh. Okay. Neat. What the fuck is that? I just saw a shadow. I just saw a shadow run past. That is Mr. Quack Quack. I know, because I am a birdologist. And I know everything about birds. A little less so about the pitch blackness of death. Is that okay, 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 yep, yep, that'll open, and that'll open. Key to her heart is located where your journey began. Mm-hmm. Neat. Neat. Close that door right now. Oh, it's Thomas the Tank Engine. That's good. Sure hope if spooky things start happening, he'll get me out of this mess. Neat. What's that? Just a picture. Just a picture. And an ink blot. Located where my journey began. <laughs> the hell was that? Right, there's a door there. Okay. Neat, neat. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, seal that for good. Goodbye. Sure wish I actually had hands to wave with, but Steven Dad doesn't need hands, I guess. You wanna, 
You want to fucking run that by me again? What? What? It just happened. Okay. 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 Yep. Nope. Going in my... Going in my office. Close that. Close that. Okay, it's all normal. Everything's normal. Get my eyesight checked. In room six. Sure thing. Those weren't dumped over here before, were they? Okay. Six two nine. Damn real fine. Let me suck it to you one more time. Get low. Get low. To the window. To the wall. <sighs> Till the death runs down these halls. I think that's going to be all the time I have for now. So next time, we'll go into that code of doom. But until then, everybody, take care. <laughs>